Hi, I'm Chuck uh, Parsons with uh, HPC. I am the uh, uh, educational and training manager. Uh, today we're going to show you a quick video on uh, how to apply media to one of our new torpedo burners. Uh, as some of you know, um, in the past all of our burners um, we have recommended and certainly expect you to cover the ports of the burners up as well. Um, a little bit different with our, our new torpedo style burner. So uh, we'll kind of get into it here. So we have to keep these um, ports exposed, these uh, jetted ports. Um, so again, with that, uh, once you get your media in there, uh, of course you can cover up the burner. Uh, we do not expect you to see any parts of the tubing on the burner. Um, but these ports here, the raised jetted ports, they need to stay exposed. Some of you may be familiar with uh, some other jetted burners. Uh, some of those you will see with a really large nozzle on them. Um, of course, the reason for that is, if you notice, they've got, uh, let's say, an air intake on those nozzles. Um, and those air intakes have to be above the media. Um, again, with our new uh, torpedo burner, we've gotten around that. Um, now, with that said, there is a, still a particular uh, manner in which we need to apply the media. So, what we're going to do here right now is we'll go, we're going to go ahead and fire this uh, fire pit up. Uh, we're going to show you what the flame should look like, obviously, with these ports exposed. And uh, then we'll do it the wrong way, too. Um, so, here we go. Now this is one of our high-low units, so you can kind of see how we've gone from low to high. But you'll see how that flame is kind of conical, it goes straight up. We get a very nice, good, tall flame out of this torpedo burner. Um, so again, we'll go ahead and shut it down, and uh, we can show you the differences in the flames here. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is just cover up a couple of these ports here with a piece of glass. Um, again, nothing too fancy here, we're just kind of plugging up the port there. Um, but again, it's, it's kind of critical that we keep these things exposed. Um, so probably one of your very last checks uh, before you fire a unit off your, your new torpedo burner is to, again, once you get the media done, just go ahead and go through and make sure all of the ports are, are the very tip of them anyway, is exposed. Now, as you can see, um, we don't quite get that real nice conical uh, shape to it. Um, the flame is a little bit lazier. Um, and of course, you can notice at each port how that flame kind of wraps up around that piece of glass. Um, so again, this isn't exactly the efficient way to operate uh, uh, one of these uh, torpedo burners and get the flame height and the flame pattern expected out of them. Again, my name's Chuck. If you guys got any kind of questions on these things, please give us a call. Have a good day.